It was unlike any other day at the office. As I sat down to check my inbox, I got a rather peculiar message. It read, Jack, we have chosen you to bring the latest in technologies to add value to brands across all industries and engage consumers and customers like never before. Should you accept the challenge? Appreciating a good challenge, I thought about it for a second and said, Of course! And instantly, like magic, a thousand NFC tags appeared upon my keyboard. Thank you, Internet Wizards. Good stuff. So today, we're going to bring you this technology and all of its goodness to you, how this technology can add value to the brand and have some happy customers in the process. Prepare as we set sail on this journey of adaptation, innovation, and growth. So what is NFC? NFC, or Near Field Communication, is a set of communication protocols similar to RFID that enable two electronic devices, one of which usually is a smartphone, to establish communication by bringing them within a couple of centimeters or inches of each other, case in point, a smartphone and a near field communication tag. So what's so great about this technology is that you don't require the use of an app in 99.9% .9 of cases to use NFC. By simply touching this magnetic sticker, this tag, it instantly opens a URL link for chameleon.com. Just that functionality alone of opening a website has saved some of my clients tens of thousands of dollars as a result of not having to advertise a digital link with physical media or even getting access to a paper catalog right on their website. But you could also have it to where in the realm of social media, for instance, with YouTube, if you're at a movie theater, you could touch your phone to the movie poster, it'll instantly pop up that trailer for that individual movie. Now, you can do this for any social media network. You can do it for Twitter, tweet you, follow you, retweet you. They can touch your Instagram poster. It'll launch your information. They can follow you. If you're in a business setting, your business card, it'll open your LinkedIn, your bio, your resume, or just to get social with you on Facebook. Now, that's not the only functionality of NFC. You can also open applications. For instance, Snapchat is an app-only social media network. So we opened this app without the use of an app, which is pretty impressive. Now, in the real world, here are a couple posters I made for some restaurants and retail and some other cool stuff. But when somebody touches this individual poster, they can do whatever they need to do on Facebook, like like you and follow you. But you can also track the amount of engagement or the amount of taps for each individual poster through shortened URL links. It's pretty cool stuff. Pretty good use of the technology. So what we found for a lot of people is that NFC is one of those technologies that is just so compelling and valuable that it directs us at Chameleon from doing what is comfortable for a lot of the people we work with into bringing those who have not yet adapted to this new standard. And that standard is a world enhanced with near-field communication, with Chameleon being the intelligence that drives it. So just to be clear, everything you've seen thus far has been done with a near-field communication action. Now, what is an action? Basically what that means for you is that it doesn't require the use of an app. It is a standard of the technology. And there's a few things that you can do inherently with it. Like I just showed you, you can open a website or you can launch an application. However, there are a few more things you can do with actions, which I'm going to cover right now. And in the top right here are all of them. We're going to start from left to right with the first one being Bitcoin. If you don't know what Bitcoin is, it's basically a digital currency. But when I tap my phone to this tag, it will instantly pre-populate that Bitcoin address to where I can donate to that address. And in this case, we're helping kids with basically get clean water in desperate countries, which is a good cause. Now, this next tag, this phone tag, by simply touching my phone to the phone... It will launch a number like customer service or support or anything really, which is a cool use of the technology. And don't hesitate to call us if you have any questions regarding NFC. Pretty cool use of the technology too. Now this next one is an email address. So if I touch my phone to this tag, it'll instantly pre-populate a message with a subject line or even a little bit of text, depending on how much memory is within the actual tag itself to send an email. A lot of different uses for that as well. Up next is add to contacts. By simply touching your phone to the tag, it'll add a contact to your phone, whether you want to have it on your Gmail or your device or whatever. Just touch it, add a contact, very cool. Next is Bluetooth. Now, this is a very unique one. By touching my phone to this, it'll just connect a Bluetooth device like headphones or whatever you have. Pretty cool. And my personal favorite, 
connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you're in a cafe or you're at a restaurant, you just lay your phone on the table, it'll instantly connect you to that network to which you want to connect to. So if you're trying to get customers on your Wi-Fi without them asking your employees, a great way to do it. Another great action is geolocation. We actually did a campaign recently where it was a bus station ad, like a bus stop. And when you touched your phone to the huge bus station banner, it would take you to the nearest location, like a retail location. Now, another one is SMS. By simply touching the tag, it'll either pre-populate a message or give you a number to send it to. And by doing this, you can have people sign up for your text club, a lot of cool stuff. So there's a lot of innovative uses for the technology. And for the final action, I understand there is a lot, you can have it to where, in this case, this is a window decal, kind of like one of those Yelp stickers you'll see on the front of a door. You just touch your phone to it and it launches a plain text. So you can see, you can do innovative marketing campaigns with that, invite them to a promo code, a lot of cool stuff. But those are all the actions available to, to NFC right now. And we're going to go into triggers in a second, which are things that require the use of an app. But before we do that, we're going to show you double actions, which I have in this pad right here. So it's like combining two actions into one. So you'll see here, I have a promo code that says Teehee that tickles. All right, here's 10% off the use of promo code. And then it goes right to the web link where we can capture that person and convert it into a sale. So there are ways you can use this in a variety of different ways. For instance, in the world of convention seminars and events, Here's a way we actually applied it to some companies. So here are some silicone wristbands, and by touching it, it opens that text action. Now, this guy didn't win anything. However, there's a bunch of different colored wristbands. So some people who had this wristband might get a promo code, or they may be invited to a booth, or they might get something like a gift, or they might have to go to registration to pick something up. But you can use this in a variety of different ways, including for sponsorship sales. So this tag has it to where it says, welcome to convention con, visit this booth and you do this. So you can sell this to exhibitors to also increase the revenue for the event. And then of course, some events have websites actually for the event itself. So you can get information right from your NFC wristband. And some events actually have an app inside of the event. So it's like a map on your wristband. Now, this is really innovative stuff for the industry. I mean, people love us for what we do with this technology. Not in the fact that it's gadgety and it's cool, but for the real results that we produce. I mean, we reduce costs and make things more efficient, not just with the NFC, but we even have paperless event management software called BadgeQ. I actually have a video we made a while back for a show we did in Detroit. I'll put it in right here. But basically what we did is we made it possible to where you don't even need a registration desk anymore. We basically replaced the manpower with mind power and we reduced costs every step of the way. So I don't want you to get caught up in the fact that this is gimmicky or gadgety. It produces real results that people have utilized our company to do. Now, as you just saw, I touched my ring and it launched the CES app, to which I also use as a map because NFC does come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, which we're about to get into. So it goes without saying, the CES map app is a heck of a lot better than this thing because it's not just a map, it's a lot more. But when you try to navigate an event with one of these, it's just so antiquated and bleh. It's paper, it kills trees, it's just bad. So that's where that belongs, and it's a financial pitfall for a lot of our clients, which is why people use us in the first place to avoid stuff like that. But moving on. What else is so great about this technology is just the wide variety of shapes and sizes that NFC can come in. Essentially, it can be in anything. Stickers, fridge magnets, all sorts of cool stuff. But one of the uh, more unique uses that we were testing, actually, is with this pin. Now, this pin can be used for a lot of different things, but in the aspect of politics, the political pin is now going digital. And whether you like this guy or not, he's gotten a lot of press in the last few months or even years regarding political office. And this is just another innovative way of using the technology. Another great use is just simply touching a key fob to launch an auto app, in this case Ford's, or another one, we don't discriminate on any car owners. We did this one for Mazda. 
And what it does is it launches all of the benefits and features of the app that they created as a company, but delivering it to their customers and consumers in a very sophisticated way. It's really good stuff. One other thing I do want to cover for you guys is the use of triggers. And what a trigger is, is essentially an NFC action, but it requires the use of an app. And usually you're not going to have to do this stuff because they're pretty unique circumstances. But you can do things like adjust your screen brightness. If I touch this tag, it'll do that. You can also have dual action triggers. It's the same thing as an action like I did on the mouse pad. You can have two things launch at once. So I not only had my media volume turn up, but I also had my phone vibrate. So it's two triggers and one tag. As long as the tag has enough memory, of course. And then this third one, of course, puts my phone in driving mode. Maybe launches GPS, that type of stuff. But most of the time, you're not going to be using these. They do have cool functionalities, though. So now that you have a general understanding of near-field communication, we did save the best for last. And it comes in the form of QID. Now, what is QID? It's basically software that we program to the NFC tags in the form of these PVC business cards and these digital business pads or digital exhibitor pads it shows. Now, what does this mean? We're basically taking all of these actions and we're putting it into this pad with the power of QID behind it. So it's really, really innovative software and it's all web-based. So you still do not need the use of an app. And you can launch it with the use of an NFC tag, of course, which in this case is just opening qidpro.com slash Trigicon. It has everything about them. It has their phone numbers for all their divisions. And if you click this, it'll open the Google Maps like that action over there. There was the Eiffel Tower from before, but now it's taking us to their headquarters. We also have their website. So if I click here, you can order online, get more information on their products, do whatever you need to do from there. Click here, it goes right to their Facebook page. Okay, so you can click more. And from there, you can check in, you can send them a message, maybe a customer service call, whatever you want to do from their Facebook page. Their Twitter. So here you can follow them, retweet. Now, this is really cool. It's their entire digital profile. I mean, everything. Their Instagram. So you can see what they're up to on all their social channels from one place. YouTube. You can subscribe to their channel. Hint, 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 hint. Subscribe to Kumelion. And also, you can just order their product right here from their QID on Amazon or eBay or whatever distribution network that they use. So you can get the best deal at the same time. This is very powerful stuff because you're aggregating everything about them on a very, very mobile-friendly platform that's all web-based. And another neat feature of QID is that there are three APIs we have for now. And if I click this, it'll pre-populate a message to which with one button, you click it or press it in this case, and it'll send out to all your friends on social networks about that brand right from the QID. It also works for Twitter and LinkedIn as well. Now, QID can also come in the form of this PVC card. It really can come in the form of any of these things that I showed you today. But there's actually one other thing I wanted to cover. Yeah, you can touch it with the NFC and it'll launch it right from the PVC card itself. And this is my personal QID for Chameleon. But you can also do it in a couple of other ways with QID. One is if you have a QR scanner, you can just simply scan the code. And by doing so, it'll just launch the QID web link to which you can access all the information from there. An even easier way is that you can text a specific short code to our text server number, and it'll shoot us back a text message saying, thanks for texting me, or whatever message you want to put out from the admin panel. And it just redirects you right back to the QID. It's really innovative stuff. So we do use NFC, but we also use every smart access technology available to the marketplace today. I know this was a very informative video. I know there was a lot that we covered. So if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We are here to drive innovation at Chameleon. So if you have questions about what triggers you can use, if you're thinking about doing an innovative marketing campaign with this type of thing, call us and you'll either get me or one of my experts to get this going for you. Also, everything you've seen here today is available at chameleon.com from the NFC product sample kit all the way to the QID software. And I'll even include a promo code within the description for you guys making it through the entire video, which I deeply appreciate. And be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Until then, never stop adapting.